वेलकम टू अनदर लेक्चर ऑन इंजीनियरिंग ग्राफिक्स द मोटिव ऑफ दिस लेक्चर इज टू लर्न हाउ टू प्रजेंट अवर वर्क ऑन द ग्रिड शीट रिगार्डिंग स्केल्स एंड हाउ टू कंस्ट्रक्ट प्लेन स्केल इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम ऑन प्लेन स्केल वी लर्न इन डेट लेक्चर हाउ टू फाइंड रिप्रेजेंटेटिव फैक्टर हाउ टू फाइंड एल ओ एस हाउ टू डिसाइड द नंबर ऑफ पार्ट्स so i will not discuss the solution now because we have already discussed in the previous lecture so in this lecture i will only tell you how to present your work on the grid sheet and how to draw the plane scale on the grid sheet so what do you have to do first of all you have to write the uh, representative factor or representative fraction you have to put serial number 1 with the help of pencil you will write representative fraction you will show the calculation then you will write serial number 2 you will show the second calculation of length of scale then below these two calculations you will draw the construction of plane scale so in the previous lecture for this particular problem we found that length of scale is 15 cm so let us see how to construct the plane scale now so first of all we will draw a thick line of 15 cm so we will align our scale with the this row of dots and draw a thick line of 15 cm should should be continuous thick now after that uh, we know that in a plane scale we have to divide line into equal number of parts so for this particular question we decided six parts and each part will be of 2.5 cm so with the help of scale only uh, mark six partitions each will be of 2.5 cm after that we have to place the markings and uh, we start from the second point in case of plane scale and when you have to write the marking you have to follow uh, the shapes we have learned in letter writing so we will keep uh, the height of each uh, letter around 5 uh, mm approximately so let us start from here let us mark 0 Fine. Follow the same shape of letter writing. You see, uh, I kept height around five millimeters. One, two meter, three, four meters, five meters. Now this is a meter scale. So what we will do over here? We will draw two guidelines. Continuous thin line. and uh, can take the height between these two around 5 mm and uh, write the unit of this particular scale the unit is meters so we will write in gothic style and we will maintain approximately the ratio of 7 ratio 5 so we will write it free hand without any scale so it is a meter scale now after that what we do we decide number of parts for this first part of the plane scale and in that question we decided that we have to make 10 parts and each part will be of 2.5 mm so if you have this type of scale you can see uh, over here a millimeter is further divided into half millimeter so if you don't have this type of scale then uh, there is no issue then what you can do you can measure 2.5 like this that 1 mm 2 mm between 2 and 3 you can mark in the mid so that will become 2.5 mm so same work we will do over here now let us mark 10 points each will be of 2.5 so 1 mm 2 2.5 then 5 7.5 10 12 13 15 so i'm adding 2.5 mm so 17.5 20 22.5 fine then the last marking so after that uh, we have to label 
uh, these markings here so how many markings we have 10 so we will label over here 10 in gothic style and consider the height of numerals around 5 millimeters now this is which scale for this question it is decimeters scale so over here uh, we will write decimeter draw two guidelines and gap between these two guidelines take around 5 millimeters or 7 millimeters now freehand we will write over here decimeter by using the shapes we learned in letter writing So it is a decimeter scale. This is a meter scale. Now after that we will make the body of the scale. So from here we will draw a line of 1 centimeter. Then from here as well draw a line of 1 centimeter vertical line and these should be continuous thick. Then join these with the help of thick horizontal line. Fine. Now from all the points draw vertical lines to show the individual parts. These must be continuous thick. Now we are ready with the body of the scale. After that what we will do below the scale we have to mention RF and LOS. So what you can do you have sufficient space over here. Then draw first guideline then second guideline and one uh, thing you should keep in your mind that uh, these uh, these guidelines should be uh, in one line only fine then it will uh, look more good then over here we will mention RF in gothic style so numeral one then we will write 40 then we'll mention leave some space then we'll mention its LOS also so how much is LOS? 15 centimeters the one thing to understand we have learned only vertical uh, capital letters so over here you can write centimeter in your handwriting no issues Fine. After that uh, we have to place the midway marking over here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Make the fifth marking slightly uh, bigger than the other markings like this. And below that marking write 5. Now there is no need to mark all the points over here because uh, space is less. So that will not, not look good. So we will mark only the midpoint and we will mark those points which we have to uh, answer in the question so this is the construction of plane scale now let us see what we have to answer so we have to answer 3.3 .3 meter first so 0 to 3 from here we will align our scale leave 1 millimeter gap continuous thin line so 1 millimeter gap continuous thin line then mark third decimeter 1 2 3 mark it 3 then from that point align your scale 1 mm gap at the top and continuous thin line now after that uh, from this object line leave around 10 millimeters and uh, draw continuous thin line again which will be the dimension line then on both sides of the dimension line we have to place closed filled arrowheads in 3 ratio 1 then on, on the top of this we will write 3.3 .3. and again follow letter writing 3.3 next we have to answer 5.6 so 5 meters we have to pick from this side align your scale with this leave 1 millimeter gap continuous thin line then you have to pick pick sixth decimeter so 5 6 decimeter is this line so below it label 6 and from that point 
leave one millimeter gap continuous thin line which will be called as extension line then from this dimension line draw another line at 10 millimeters you can see uh, we have drawn this line at this row so next row is already at 10 millimeters so let me uh, extend this extension line I use this row to draw the second dimension line continuous thin line again then we will add closed filled arrowheads on both sides in 3 ratio 1 then on the top of this we will write 5 in gothic style 0.6 fine so this should be your presentation uh, of the plane scale so let me summarize First of all, you will show the calculation of representative fraction with the help of pencil. Over here, you can use your handwriting, no need of letter writing. Then below this, you will write the calculation of LOS in handwriting. Then below these two calculations, you will show your answer. Fine. And uh, remember, uh, in the answer, you have to show, you have to use uh, letter writing only to write the numerals and letters. So I hope the construction of this uh, particular problem is clear to you. Thank you very much.